If you haven't done so yet, make sure you pause the video and try to answer the question first on your own before listening on. We are asked to find a symbolic expression for the total electric potential at the center of this square. Now we know that the electric potential produced by a single point charge is given by the following equation. We multiply a constant times the amount of charge divided by the distance from the charge to the location. Now in this case, the location is at the center of the square, so what we're going to need is an expression for the distance from the charge Q to the center of the square. Notice that the distance from each charge to the center will be the same because of the symmetry of the square. So we need those distances right there. And we can obtain the correct expression by first drawing a diagonal from one corner of the triangle to the other. And by doing that, we form a nice right triangle whose legs are equal to A and whose hypotenuse, for now, we might just call C. Now, of course, we know from the Pythagorean theorem that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. The two legs of our triangle are noted as A and another A, so we can actually rewrite this as C squared equals A squared plus A squared. We'll add the A squareds on the right-hand side, and then we'll take the square root on both sides of the equation, and we can see that the length of the diagonal of the square is equal to the square root of 2 times the square root of a squared. Notice, of course, the square root of a squared is just a, so we might want to write that as just radical 2a. Now, that's the distance from one corner of the square to the other corner. Notice we only seek half of that distance. We want the distance from each charge to the center, so that would just be half of the diagonal. Therefore, the distance we seek from here to here will be half of this distance, so we'll have the square root of 2a divided by 2. So that will be the distance from each charge to the center. Next, we want to begin to set up the expression for the electric potential at the center. You might notice that because each charge has a value of capital Q, and because the distance from each charge to the center is the same, to get the total potential at the center, what we can do is take the expression for the electric potential of one of the charges and simply multiply it by 4. In essence, electric potentials are added like algebraic quantities. So if you have four of them based on identical values, then you can just take one of the values for electric potential and multiply it by four. So in other words, we're going to have four multiplied by the constant K sub E times the magnitude of charge, or I should say the amount of charge, which is capital Q, divided by the distance. And we just found that distance to be radical two over 2 and then a. So I guess the trickiest part might be to simplify this expression here. We have a complex fraction. We have a numerator divided by a fraction. So we're going to employ what's called keep change flip to simplify that. So we have 4 multiplied. Now keep change flip means keep the numerator the same. So we'll have k sub e times capital Q. Change the division to multiplication and then flip that fraction highlighted in yellow. So you would have 2 all over radical 2a. So we don't typically leave square roots in the denominator. So to rationalize it, as it is known, we will multiply the bottom and the top by the square root of 2. Up top, you're going to multiply 4 times 2 times radical 2. So that's going to give you 8 radical 2 in the numerator. And then you still up top have k sub e times q. Now, in the denominator, radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, but radical 4 is just 2. The square root of 4 is just equal to 2. So you'll have 2a. And then finally, we can divide the 8 and the 2, and that's just going to give us 4. So the final expression will be 4 radical 2 k sub e capital Q all divided by a. So this would be the correct answer to part A. Now on to part B, which wants us to calculate the work required to bring a fifth charge, symbolized by lowercase q, from infinity to the center of the square. Now, the work done in moving a charge from one region of space to another is equal to the amount of charge 
times the potential difference between those two regions. Now you notice that you can rewrite the potential difference as the final potential minus the initial potential. Notice further that the initial potential should actually just equal zero because the charge Q was located infinitely far away from the center of this square. So if it's located infinitely far away, it wouldn't feel the effects of the charges that were located at the center of the square, and therefore its electric potential initially would be zero. So this term basically drops out. And then the final potential would be the potential at the center of the square, because that's where we are moving the charge to. And we just obtained that expression in part A. So part B becomes relatively straightforward, because we simply have to multiply lowercase q by the expression for the potential we derived in part A. And there isn't too much you can do to simplify this. We might just move the little q since we're multiplying. We can sort of transfer it to the numerator here. So you would have 4 radical 2 k sub e, capital Q, lowercase q, all over A. And this would be the correct answer to part B.